Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the new Neckbeard 3 by Channel Island Surfboards. So you're probably familiar with the Neckbeard. It's a model that's been in the Channel Islands line for probably almost 10 years now. Um, came out, I think, after the Dumpster Diver, which was around 2009, 2010. And I think the original Neckbeard came out around 2011 or 12. Uh, and probably over the last 10 years, I've had probably like six or eight of them. I was a huge fan of the board. Uh, and through our reviews, we been able to check out, we checked out the Neckbeard 2 when it came out in a review about two or so years ago. Um, we also checked out last, early last year, the Fishbeard, which is a twin fin that came from the Neckbeard. Uh, and late last year, we were actually able to go to Urban Surf, and it actually came out early this year, and we reviewed the Neckbeard 2 in Spine Tech. And all of them, epic boards, um, big, big favorites of lots of people. So it's really cool to check out the Neckbeard 3. So Neckbeard 3 I've got is a stock 5.9, and it comes in at 5.9. 19.58s, two and a half, and it's 30.7 liters. So looking over the Neckbeard 3, much similar to Neckbeard 2, um, same wide point, same width through the front. Um, I think like the front two thirds or so of the board is much the same. Just in front of the fins, it feel like it's still got a bit of a hip, uh, like the, the Neckbeard. Uh, but then the big change is obviously this round tail, which for some people is probably a little bit easier on the eye. Um, but yeah, some questions raised from the diehards of that big square chop tail, like myself. Um, on the Neckbeard 3, it's kind of got a mid, kind of foolish rail, fairly mid, it's nice and soft, feels good under the hand, it feels really good for the water, and holds a bit of volume through the deck. Uh, it's definitely not a flat deck, but it does hold a lot of volume uh, under your chest, making paddling really easy, making surfing really easy. And I'm a big fan on boards um, of boards that hold a lot of volume under the back foot. And the Neckbeard 3 is still quite thick under the back foot. So I feel for myself that, um, allows the board to, to hold more speed, more drive, playing across flat sections, and just be really, really easy to surf. Um, flipping over the Neckbeard 3, um, similar to the Neckbeard 2, single concave the whole way through the board. The original Neckbeard had a single, I think, and it had a V through the back. Um, the Neckbeard 2, they got rid of the V, kept a single through the board, and they've kept that in the Neckbeard 3. So the single concave, it's gonna keep water moving through the board really easy, be really easy to surf, nice and fast, and probably work in a whole variety of conditions from, you know, junky little waves through to big kind of pumping waves. <laughs> so I was pretty keen to check out the Neckbeard 3. Like I said, I was a huge fan of <coughs> Dumpster Diver, Neckbeard, pretty much Dane could market anything and I'd be pretty keen to buy it. But anyway, the board's been epic. I think about eight years ago, around 2013, 14, I went to Bali for about um, two weeks and, um, was surfing like Uluwatu, Changu, like all the kind of main breaks. And I took one board. I took a neckbeard, um, you know, five, six foot Uluwatu, four foot Changu. There wasn't too much it couldn't do. Like I'm not gonna take the thing out like eight or 10 foot Chopu, but I'm probably not gonna surf that either. Um, so huge fan of the neckbeard. And I know that big square kind of chop tail, people like it, it looked like it would be kind of difficult to get in the way, but it really didn't, well at the time anyway, it didn't feel like it got in the way. It felt like it was really easy to surf, had a lot of nice float through turns, kept drive, was just super easy to surf. So I was frothing to check out the Neckbeard 3 and see how this new little edition of a round tail would go. So yeah, I've been surfing this for a while now in a whole kind of variety of conditions. Similar to the Neckbeard, um, surfs really well in small average waves. It has that nice volume under the chest and in the belly to get into waves to keep surfing really easy. But surprisingly, the round tail is actually a little bit easier to surf. So while I thought that chop square didn't get in the way, it didn't make surfing difficult, um, the round tail is just a little bit easier. It gives the board, I think, a little bit more versatility. And by versatility, it still performs really well in the small stuff, but I must say, even though I said the neck big goes well in, you know, five to six foot, I think there was limits in, you know, waves of steeper faces, um, maybe in barreling and bigger conditions. And why this probably isn't the board you grab if it was five and six foot and pumping tubes, um, I think with the addition of the round towel, you now kind of can. I actually wouldn't mind surfing this on kind of be some like kind of slabby or reef waves because with this volume through the front, it's going to paddle really well. It's going to get into waves nice and easy. But this new round towel isn't so, kind of so catchy and it just feels a bit freer and a bit easier, like I said, in waves that have a steeper face and or a barreling. One of the biggest changes I felt to the Neckbeard 3 and the addition of the round towel is it now allowed you to surf the board as a quad. So you would have seen if you've got a stock Neckbeard 2, I think a lot of them are on the shelves with a five fin setup, but as a quad with that big square towel, I just felt it didn't work. There was too much going on. I don't know. So the, the Neckbeard 2, love the board, but I was only surfing it as a thruster. So um, whether it was Futures or FCS, I'd be riding the large AM, um, and this is the large AM, or by Futures, the AM2. So I checked out the AM in the um, Neckbeard 3, 
felt epic. This is a really reliable fin. You know, I feel like I know it really well. Surfs well, it's a raked fin, uh, really nice release. It's got a bit of flex through this, so it's a bit, um, you know, it's nice and soft and it's easy to surf. So this went really well. So if you check out the neck beard, got a set of AMs or want to get a set of AMs or a really versatile fin, the AMs by FCS or Futures, perfect for the board. Um, huge fan from FCS of the H4. Um, so this is a quad set, center fin for the thruster. As a thruster, absolutely epic. The H4s are quick, really quick off the mark, went really, really well on the board and had a whole lot of fun. What I really liked about the Neckbeard 3 with this round towel is it now allowed me to surf the board as a quad. Um, so I rode the H4 quads by FCS. Um, these are the large in the front and I think there's only one size in the rear, the rear quads, and the thing felt absolutely mental. The H4s are quick and we checked out the thruster a while ago, but putting the quad, it's even quicker. It's drivier, um, it has lots and lots of hold. And you know, if I'm going to tour, the, the H4 was definitely my favorite fin in this board. And say, so I'd probably ride the thruster up to around three foot uh, or bigger um, if the waves are a bit sloppy. But when the waves were cleaner and bigger and had some nice open face, the quad was absolutely mental. It's super quick off the mark. It's a really, really fast fin even down the line. And when you have a bit of space, like an open face, we can do bigger drawn out turns. The H4 quad setup feels absolutely mental, especially in the Neckbeard 3. Like I said, I wasn't sure what removing that big chop would do, but it's definitely freed up the back end of that board, made it a little bit easier to surf, especially in steeper waves, and now has given me the ability to ride it as a quad, um, and with the H4s, it felt absolutely mental. I know a few people did like the original Neckbeard with a chop as a, as a quad. Uh, I tried it a few times and it just wasn't for me. So the Neckbeard with a chop square was really good as a thruster. Um, but with the rounded tail on the Neckbeard 3, uh, a quad setup was absolutely epic. I checked out the AM quads and a few other things and they're really good, but I could not go past the H4 quads really quick. And you know, this board was absolutely epic, but it just gave it that extra, you know, 10, 20%, little bit of speed uh, off the mark and really nice hold when you had bigger, nicer, cleaner conditions. I think the addition of the H4 quad allowed this board to be something, you know, for one to kind of four foot, and this allowed it to surf in bigger, better, you know, kind of solid conditions and made the board super versatile from, yeah, one or two foot through to six foot, maybe even bigger. Um, if you're thinking about checking out a Neckbeard 3, a few things. The board is probably for almost anyone. So if you're coming down off like Mini Mal or something, you want to get on like more of a performance shape, check out the Neckbeard 3. It's super easy to surf, super versatile. I'd probably size it up. Um, it's still going to be quite maneuverable and easy to surf, but you know, probably adding a bit more volume will make it really easy to paddle and really easy to surf. For someone transitioning, say from, you know, Mini Mal or whatever to a shortboard, this might be that stop in between that you're looking for. Uh, for someone who's a, an advanced or intermediate surfer, Neckbeard 3 is epic. If you want something that sits probably just below your performance shortboard and will work in a range of conditions from, you know, one, two foot through to bigger days, maybe when they're sloppy or whatever, or even when it's pumping, like I said, Neckbeard 3 is absolutely epic. If you're thinking of ordering one, I feel the Neckbeard 3 uh, runs true to size. This is 30.7 litres. Uh, my shortboards are normally around 30, 31 litres. It felt spot on. Uh, the volume is in all the right places. Nothing is wasted. There's volume under the chest to get you into waves nice and early. And there's volume under the back foot, which I feel is like a bit of a gas pedal and can really get you going. Look, overall, Neckbeard 3 was absolutely epic. I wasn't sure, being a purist of that chop square tail, that I'm like, what's this round tail about? You know, didn't know if it was a marketing ploy, didn't know if I was trying to add something different, but I think it has now created a board that was really popular for a lot of people um, to a board that will work for absolutely everyone. If you like the chop tail, check this out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, and if you're a bit hesitant of that chop tail, check this out, because I think it's, you know, it's more appealing on the eye for those people. Uh, and like I said, it's super versatile and it works for almost anyone. Anyway, I've had a lot of fun, um, I was frothing to check it out and hopefully you get a chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.